In this video, we're going to sketch the region of integration R, and we're going to set up both orders of integration uh, for this integral, so dy dx and dx dy. Okay, we'll start by sketching this region here, uh, R. So here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis. And sketching the region in this problem might be the hardest uh, thing about it. <laughs> this is a trapezoid. So I think maybe the easiest way to sketch it correctly is to just plug in these numbers into uh, these functions. So we're going to take 1 and plug it in here. So when x is 1, y is 1. That means we have the point 1, 1. Then we'll plug in 2. So when x is 2, y is 2. So we have the point 2, 2. Okay, so here is 1, 1. And then here is 2, 2. And if you connect the dots, you get a straight line. So that line there is y equals x. That's the line y equals x. So again, we took each number, the 1 and the 2, and we plugged them in uh, to this function here, y equals x, and we got these two points, and we connected the dots. Now we're going we're gonna to do the same thing with the other one. So we'll take x equals 1 and plug it in here. So if x is 1, you get 2 times 1, so you get 2, so 1 comma 2, right? 2 times 1, so you get 2. Do the same thing with the 2. Uh, so when x is 2, you would get 2 times 2, so you would get 4, so 2 comma 4. Let me use a different color here. So at 1, we're at 2, so that's, that's this point here, 1 comma 2. And then when x is 2, we're at 4. So 3, 4. You to be really careful with this problem. Then you connect the dots, and there we go. And that's the line y equals 2x. y equals 2x. OK, and then you have the line x equals 1. That's a vertical line, so that's this line here. And then you have the line x equals 2. That's a vertical line. That's this line here. And there's two ways to do this, uh, dy dx and dx dy. First, let's do dy dx. That means that we have a vertical rectangle. Every time you do dy dx, you always have a vertical rectangle. So I'll go ahead and write it, dy dx. And whenever you have a vertical rectangle, you have functions of x, so you have dy. And the topmost function, in this case it's y equals 2x, goes up top. And the bottommost function, in this case it's y equals x, goes on the bottom. So it's always top minus bottom whenever it's dy. And then we're integrating from, it looks like, 1 to 2. So from 1 to 2. And so that would be the order of integration for dy dx. Again, vertical rectangles are drawn whenever it's dy. And these always are functions of x. Right? It's always top minus bottom. The top part of the rectangle goes here, and the bottom part goes here. OK, now we're going to attempt to do dx dy. So I'm going to quickly redraw the picture. Hopefully keep the length of this video down. So there's y and there's x. And if you recall, we had uh, y equals x, y equals 2x, x equals 1, and x equals 2. We took 1 and we plugged it in here, and we got 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2. So plotting those here, we have 1, 1, and then 2, 2. And that gave us the line y equals x. Okay, in this case, we want to think of it as x equals y, right? Because we're doing dx dy, so we want functions of y. And then we took this number here, we plugged it in here. We got uh, 2, 4. And then we plugged this one in here, and we got, um, looks like when x is 1, y is 2. So 1, 2. So when x is 1, y is 2. That's my email. So when x is 1, y is 2. I don't know if you heard that. Who cares? I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> When x is 2, you get uh, 4. So we're here. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. And then we have these vertical lines here. All right, so if we do dx dy, something uh, bad is going to happen. We're going to need two integrals because check this out. If I draw a rectangle here and I draw one here, you see the, the edges of the rectangles are different. Like over here, the rightmost function is x equals 2. And over here, the rightmost function is x equals y. So we need two separate integrals for this. So I'll go ahead and write it. So sine squared. And we're doing dx dy plus, and we'll have another integral, sine squared 
dx dy. I need one more integral sign. Okay, so let's do this one first, this first, this bottom piece here. So the rightmost function goes up top always whenever you have a horizontal rectangle. And then the leftmost function here was x equals 1. Okay, so it's right minus left. So this will be y and this will be 1. And then we're integrating from 1 to 2. Okay, so from 1 to 2. So whenever you have dx, uh, you have horizontal rectangles and your rightmost function goes up top and your leftmost function goes on the bottom. That's x equals 1. Okay, x equals 1. For the second integral, uh, your rightmost function is x equals 2. And this line here was y equals 2x. So if you solve that for x, you get x equals y over 2. So your leftmost function is x equals y over 2. So that goes on the bottom, y over 2. So again, it's x equals 2, and then to x equals y over 2. So right minus left, 2 minus y over 2. And then we integrate from 2 to 4. So from 2 to 4. Kind of rush through that uh, pretty quickly. Um, but the idea is, let me scroll back up and see if we can see both. Ooh, almost. Whenever you have a vertical rectangle, or whenever, rather, whenever you have dy dx, when dy comes first, you always draw a vertical rectangle, okay? And the top function is the top of the rectangle, and your lower limit of integration is the bottom, so it's always top minus bottom. Uh, whenever you have uh, dx dy, you always draw a horizontal rectangle when you have functions of y, and then your rightmost piece, so like in this case here, the rightmost piece is x equals 2, that goes up top, and the leftmost piece, in this case, that was y over 2, goes uh, on, on the bottom, as, as you can see here. So I hope that made sense.